What is up everyone? Welcome back and today I am playing some mono normal. So the team today is going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be a bit different and let's jump right into that right now. So first up we have choice specs explode with boom burst. So it's scrappy. This thing hits respectable special attack levels and I can click stab boom burst. It also hits ghost types thanks to scrappy. We have Fire Blast for Steel types like Ferrothorn, as well as Focus Blast for Heatran. And finally, Ice Beams for the Dragon and the Deer that could otherwise live a Boom Burst. Next up we have Trampa, and don't listen to this, the Costa Berry is legal, thankfully it's just not in Generation 9. So what Costa Berry lets me do is live thanks to Endure. And when I am on 1 HP, I will get my Berserk boost, putting this thing to massive special attack levels. Afterwards I go first in my priority bracket and I can click a stab hyper voice or a stab Draco Meteor that's sure to melt most Pokemon in my way. Finally we have Fire Blast again there for steel types like Ferrothorn or Caesar. Next up we have Grafi Eye. Grafi Eye is going to be support Pokemon on my team with Prankster. I can part in shot into another Pokemon. Toxic to try and wear them down on a timer. Encore to stop setup attempts. And finally knock off as a bit of team support to knock my opponent's leftovers off, for example. Next up, we have Meloetta. Meloetta is going to be a weird key berry rest set with Calm Mind, Snower, and I'm actually going to change this to Psychic. So what's this lets me do? Serene Grace and Snore will give me a 60% chance to flinch my opponent while I'm asleep. With Calm Mind to boost my special defense and a special attack, this thing hits surprisingly hard, especially with base 404 HP. Finally, Key Berry will increase my defense one stage after I take a physical hit. So this thing is normally quite bad on the physical defense side, but with plus one it has okay defenses and enough to rest off and potentially snore my opponent. Next up we have Chatot. Chatot sucks as a Pokemon, but it has Chatter and Boom Burst, so that's why I'm using it. And I guess Defog is okay too. Let's put on heavy duty boots. Just because, uh, yeah, this thing really sucks, but it can Defog away specs, I guess. And finally we have Chansey. It's a pretty normal chance you will see Stealth Rock, Teleport, Seismic Toss with Natural Cure, and EVO Light. Finally, we have Heal Bell to cure my party status. Also, it's a sound-based move, so please do not add me. So let's look for some games. So we have a game here against Mono Ghost, which really sucks because I kind of built my entire team around stupid Boom Burst Pokemon. So now my team really sucks. Though I think Grafai is actually going to be okay. Because I can knock stuff immediately. Now they do open with Sableye. And I absolutely hate fighting this Pokemon, so we're just going to go explode here. That's such a good picture, oh my god. And we're just going to click Focus Blast, because it does catch off Goldengo, and it hits super effectively on Sableye, which is really good. I'm gonna hit, no, no, you're supposed to hit Focus Blast. Okay, that really sucks for me because they can easily go into something like Mimikyu here. That did okay damage actually, not terrible. We're gonna go ahead and teleport here because they could easily go back and disable I. And that's really bad for me. Actually, Meloetta really sucks here too. I'm forced to click Psychic. Okay. We're gonna go ahead chatter once into Defog. Just to try and confuse this thing and stop it from recovering more HP. This is actually doing okay damage. And the Strength Sap won't get a huge amount back, so I can chatter a few more times. Because they are going to start getting diminishing returns. Yeah, 
Yes. Let me chatter the Sableye. I'm going to go ahead and try just KO this. Because if it gets confused once, it's huge for me. And they are running out of recoveries quite fast. Oh. Toxic's unfortunate. But I don't mind because I can just heal Bell this away. Anyway. And that's exactly what I think I do here. I go ahead and heal Bell here. And we're going to try and teleport. Now they might toxic me, that's okay, because I teleport immediately into my x -Blout. And we're just going to click Focus Blast again here. And of course it misses. Okay, we get rid of Sableye. That opens up Meloetta hugely. And I do think I keep this alive, because it's actually pretty solid. That said, I'm pretty worried about Mimikyu. It's kind of an annoying mon, but I can get rocks down here for free. And it slightly helps my team. Not a huge amount, but slightly. Yep, that's fine. We're going to heal Bell here again. Recover my chat out. And then I think Grafai Eye is actually, like, super good in this game. So, we're going to go right into Grafai Eye in case they want to, like, sword dance in my face. Because we're going to trap them with an Encore here. And then we're going to just knock whatever comes in. <laughs> the poor sad face. Also, my Toxic can't miss. Which is amazing, because I am a Poison type. What? What? No, you can't do that. <laughs> no. That shouldn't be allowed. I encore you. I hate C-moves. Okay, that's actually like really, 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 really bad for me. I can still kill this. So I have to endure here on the play rough. Watch this miss. I guarantee this is going to miss me. Okay, good. So I get Berserk. And I also get my cost up here. Please don't miss, please don't miss, please don't be nice. Okay. Honestly, very good play on my opponent's part that they saved that same move because I did not expect that at all. Spectre here comes in. I'm pretty sure my chancy kind of just falls this. I mean, there's not much I can do to it either. Okay, it's looking draining kiss. Let's go ahead and teleport. <laughs> actually a ginormous threat like a ridiculous threat so we're gonna heat wave it here pretty good damage actually focus blast kills because this thing sucks um i think meloetta lives and if we can't mind a bunch i feel like we just win the game yeah that's not doing a lot of damage. Now, unless for some reason it's like random physical Zoro arc, which it really shouldn't be. And as long as they don't crit me, I'm pretty confident I win here. I don't think there's a huge amount they can do against me. Again, assuming it isn't some random physical Zoro arc. And I'm trying not to will that into being here. Let's rest here. That's such a funny picture too. I'm I'm normal type. Excuse me. How disrespectful. <gasps> that wasn't a spectre here at all. Okay. This is kinda bad for me actually. I wonder if this is kill. I wake up now anyway. I don't think it does. I don't think they can do it, KO me. Because Meloetta is, like, really bulky. Now, I don't think Psychic Oko's either. As they get this Bedef drop. That's very nasty. That's really, really, really nasty. Wait. Is that actually...
Actually, it's back to here. That the horse doesn't turn psychic, does it? I don't think it does. Okay. I mean, maybe it does. I'm really confused now. I've April Fools to myself. Excellent. So they actually give me my key berry here. <gasps> that was the sort of work all along. And we end up winning the game. I mean, it's a pretty doable matchup. Normal versus Ghost. The funniest thing to me is, for some reason, even though I have a question mark on my name, it still gives me the default normal account. So I'm actually just like wasting ELO here trying to win these stupid games. Anyway, so we have here against Mono Psychic. It took me a second to realize what that was. Even looking over on this side, I'm like, uh, is it fighting? There's a glade there. But it's Mono Psychic. And they end up actually leaving there just terrified by the sheer power of my Drampa. Okay, they're back. Unfortunately, I can't Toxic freely at the moment, but I'm going to open Grafai Eye anyway because I do think it's pretty good. I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and knock you. If they try set up, I Encore them, which is really good. Take this. Get Encored. <gasps> No, more fool me. That's okay, because I'm going to knock this anyway. And then I'm going to party and shot, probably into my chancy to try and get my rocks down. Yeah, take that. So I'm going to party and shot away here. I guess x Blood makes the most sense. Its specs boom burst is more or less just going to KO something coming in here. Probably not for a graph. It's quite bulky. But anything else takes a massive chunk of damage. And getting rid of their long screen turns is fantastic for me. Okay, so Glade kind of just 6 0s my entire team. I'm not gonna lie. Especially Mega Glade. Yeah, Mega Glade just wins here, I'm pretty sure. Now, if they fall for my hilarious Endure Trap into a plus one. Hyper voice. I think it goes. If they don't fall for it, well then, I'm pretty sure I just lose. Okay, they're going to Grafai, uh, sorry, yeah, Farakarif here. I think I'm gonna get in my Grafai eye and just try knock. <gasps> I forgot it's psychic type. I'm stupid. For some reason, in my head, this was dark type. Okay, that's really bad. Now maybe, just maybe, Meloetta can live enough close combats from Gallade, but also it can't, so I'm pretty sure I just lose here. But if I can't mind enough, yeah, actually this might work. If I can't mind twice and they close combat me, maybe it dies to a, maybe it dies here. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna psychic this. I do not want you getting screens up. Well, unfortunately, it could not be prevented. But that's okay. I still think maybe I can KO Glade. I really don't care about being toxic at all. As long as they're not like a taunt set. If they're taunt, I get Keyberry. Is it going to be enough to live Glade? Because I'm going to rest here. I think, I feel like they might have given me the game. Yeah, they get their screens up, that's okay. I'm gonna waste a few turns by not KOing this. Okay, I'm gonna snore here. Just in case they want to go into something like Gallade, any damage here is pretty important. Victini, equally so. <sighs> That crit's huge. I gotta... Oh, is it C-Celebrate? If it's C-Celebrate, I might just lose. But I think I rest here on the V-Create. Because after, like, another V-Create, I actually outspeed this. Which is... Pretty good. Okay, the U-Turn. I'm sorry, buddy. You're about to get snored at. Honestly... That crit was massive. And I think I actually might just...
lost about live accolade it now which is kind of huge get snored on yeah right I live unless they crit me if they crit me it's over um, I'm gonna go ahead and count mine one more time it's really risky play I should just rest here okay they stay in yeah you're doing zero damage so we're gonna rest here because they're kind of forced to go into Gallade soon if they want to try and KO this and I think at a thousand attack I know Snore is like base 50 but especially after a close combat with the minus one I'm pretty sure I KO it now I probably would like max defense Meloetta a bit more but this is being pretty good Flare does zero damage. I'm surprised they didn't V-create there. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and psychic this, I think. It doesn't matter if I snore or not against the Gallade. Uh, 4% I see. Keyberry is so good. At the end of forfeiting, honestly, I don't blame them. I don't think close combat would have KO'd me. Maybe like V create into close combat or V create into U turn into close combat, maybe, but even then, this thing is surprisingly bulky. So, um, I know it doesn't count because this account was like already top 500 on the ladder beforehand, but it would be really funny if I stayed in top 500. 1384. No. Unfortunately not. That's okay, and I'm not going to go out of my way to get there either. But it was fun. Um, I thought this team would be terrible, but I actually quite enjoyed using it. Not a good team. I will leave it in the poke page below if for some reason you want to use it, but I implore you not to. And with that, if you've watched this far, thanks so much. Take care, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.